Many of you have contacted Aid on Your Side with questions about the electricity in your home. Not just when it'll be turned back on, but what to do before and after. Jen Holloway joins us now from the Tampa News Center with some answers from the power pros. I've got my pen. I'm ready to take some notes. I don't have power yet. I need all the answers, I'm Jen. with you, sister. I don't have it either. Well, here we go. Earlier today, I sent some of your questions to the experts at Tico Energy. And here's some things that you need to know. First of all, if you did turn off all of your breakers, it's best to re-energize them one breaker at a time. This way, if you do have damage in one area of your home, you can leave the affected breaker in the off position. Now, if you did not flip the circuit breaker when you evacuated, and you might be concerned that something could spark when the power is restored, Tico suggests that you turn off as many appliances as possible that require electricity, then turn them on one by one once you have regained your electricity. Some are wondering if they did not turn off their circuit breaker, is it okay to do it right now before their power is restored? Well, Tico says yes, it is okay to turn off your breaker before your power is restored. Now, here's a big one. We asked the experts if the home was not flooded but some of the electronics got wet, is it safe to unplug them? Tico says yes, it should be safe to unplug those wet electronics. And finally, if you did unplug individual devices in your home before you evacuated, Tico's advice is to plug them in and turn them on one by one. This way it'll cause less stress to the power system and help avoid any potential problems. So I hope that helps all of you. Back to you, Jen. It helped me. I got my answer. Jen Holloway, live at the Tampa News Center. Thank you.